Lesby fam. What's going on, Lesby fam? <laughs> Welcome back Sorry. to Lesby Moms. We're the Lopez fam. <laughs> Potty training. 101. Potty training. Potty training for dummies. Potty training for first time moms. Potty training. Yeah, first time parents. And potty training for if you have boys. Dun, dun, dun. There is a big difference. Huge difference. And um, we will try to break that down for you with a step by step tutorial featuring our boys. What's up, Lazy Fans? What's up, Lazy Fans? So if you're interested, keep watching. If not, keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, you might get interested. You might get disgusted. You might think, how did they do it, being two women? Step one. <laughs> what we did, or what we decided to do, was buy them a little toilet. You know, we the were, little ones. The little ones that, have, like, the little plastic ones. The ones that you just... That have characters on them, and you could flush them sometimes, like a little fake flush. Or a song comes on, mm -hmm. or it says yippee, We whatever. had a Mickey Mouse clubhouse one. So we put that in the boys' bathroom, and every time we have to use the restroom, we would bring the boys in with us and have them sit down on their toilet while we sat down. You know, I, some pe I don't know how some parents first potty train their boys but that's how we started we had them sitting down first and let's actually show that clip okay yeah i'm gonna pee mom okay come on okay. <laughs> oh, go pee. Wow. Get all right good job son i'm gonna go pee Larry. all right <laughs> Oh, let's go to the road. Siéntese. Vamos a hacer pee. Ponga su penis para abajo. Push your penis down. All right, pound it, brother. Pound it, brother. Yeah. ¿Cómo se hace pupus? <laughs> yeah, give me five. Give me five, peep. Based on the feedback we received, most parents with boys, they started off with sitting down there their boy in the potty a big thing with me in the bathroom is i can i could not stand the smell of urine like just having to clean their little toilet dro drove me nuts yeah the little potty yeah you know how you have to remove it you, you have to remove it from the the tray the, the tray pour it in the toilet clean it and place it back that drove me nuts. Yeah. We actually purchased the um, what is it? The cushion that yeah. you place on the toilet. That way they can grab on and their little bottoms fit well. Um, and that was a hit. Yeah. Go. I gotta pee. Come on, come on. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Come on, come on. That's all we get. So. Okay, push down your penis. After the pee pee. Ew. We got After using it a while, that started to smell. So I started washing it every two days. And, and the urine would, was stuck between the cushion and the plastic part. So I would fill up the bathtub with hot water, pour bleach, and let that soak. Soon after the whole debacle with the potty trainer, then the potty cushion, and the stench, she made it a point to start potty training at about, what, two and a half? No, they started potty. Marcelo started potty training yes. at, like, 16 or 17 months. He randomly said, Mommy, yo quiero ser pipi en, el in the potty. I want to go pee pee in the toy potty. And I said, okay. So I brought him, I did everything, and sure enough, he went. Roll the clip. Heck yeah, look who pee peed in the potty though. All right. Good job, Marcella. And so you see, it worked. And so from there, I just stuck to it. 
I was consistent. I stopped putting diapers on him. At nighttime, I did put a diaper on because, you know, he was still 16, 17 months. And he would not pee at night. He was really good at holding his urine. And it shocked me. Even when we went out, he would tell me, Mommy, they don't get pee-pee in the potty. And sure enough, I would take him to the bathroom and he would go. So when Santino saw Marcelo, he caught on and decided, hey, mommy, I want to go pee pee in the potty too. From there, it took him a little bit longer, but Marcelo, he caught on so quick. But I stayed consistent and I just kept him in underwear. You got a good job. Yeah, just regular little toddler boy underwear. They were always in underwear when I would get home from work. And that's where the whole twin thing for us came in handy. Because soon after Marcelo started doing it and we started rewarding them with mini Starbursts. Let's show them. Right here. Three for, what was that? Although, Two for one at Walmart. Dude, no. That big old bag would be finished in two days. Why? I have a bad sweet tooth. I'm like, what? I need these for treats. Yeah, but that worked really good. And so soon after, Mar um, Tino started seeing how much we were rewarding Lolo and doing all that. He, you know, obviously wanted the goods. So he started doing his thing in the bathroom too. Mm -hmm. But it took, I had to, he had to wear a diaper um, for a long time at nighttime. By the time they were two, they were completely potty trained. Daytime, nighttime, going out, no diapers, no pull-ups. I'm not for pull-ups because I feel like it confuses them, especially if you have them wear it during the day or at nighttime. It just confuses them. So I also put um, on their beds those pee pads, just in case. That way, if it did go through their sheet, it wouldn't go on their bed but at the time you know they had their baby beds and that's made out of like plastic so it didn't absorb the urine yeah i think staying consistent with it like which is hard because you know my parents we would take them to my parents house and my parents you know honestly it took them a while for them to get on the same page with us they didn't care not only that but you too like i was hella consistent with the boys and if it was my weekend to work and she had to be with the boys, when it was my turn to be with them again, I, it was like starting from the beginning because she would put a diaper on them. Only sometimes. But, you know, I slipped up a little bit, but they, were, they got the hang of it pretty fast. And as a team, we stayed as consistent as we can. So this is what worked for our boys. Will it work for yours? Hopefully. If it doesn't, that's okay. You know, be patient and find out what your child enjoys our kids like candy why because Every their grandma their grandma introduced them candy at a very young age and chips so i use that mm -hmm. as a mechanism to get them to pee in the potty Heck yeah look who pee peed in the potty though right. good job marcella Peeing standing up happened fairly fast, yeah. too, though. As soon as they got the, the hang of it, um, we had a little bench. We stuck the bench right there. They would pick it up when they had to use it, and they would stand up and go. Granted, we would help them hold their penises in because, obviously, you know, they're not able, they weren't able to do that at they were, that point. They were extremely distracted, so... <laughs> it would just like, go Mommy! everywhere. Yeah, like they would hold conversations with Mommy, two different people on two different sides of the bathroom. It's like, so... The, their whole body would shift to wherever they're trying to talk to, like yeah. well, wherever the person was located. Yeah, you but, know? That, but that happened fairly fast. We, mm -hmm. we had them stand up, we had them go on their little bench, put their wee-wee down. And if they didn't get the concept, we would hold it down. Now they get the concept yeah. easily, but at the beginning we held it down for them. So they wouldn't miss the, t the toilet bowl. Mm -hmm. They're even trying to wipe themselves after number two on their own, which is <laughs> which is a Charmin disaster. <laughs> um, 
but that's something that we're working on now is they're you know they're trying to be so independent that they want to wipe on their own now hey, let's roll that clip though of marcella pushing that again because i want to do it and you heard me right there let us know what some of the tips that you guys are using now or you know anything else you want to know from us I know someone had requested us to do a vlog like this since they're going through the potty training stages right now and it's just stay consistent and stay consistent. reward your child like Make a big deal when they actually do right by you by peeing yeah. in their little potty. You have to be animated. Yeah, like, just totally animated. Or even I've heard people start playing songs on YouTube, the potty training songs that helps that helps some kids, you know? Mm -hmm. So do what you got to do for your child that helps them go. Yeah. You know, that's what we did. And if they have an accident, don't get mad because then they're going to be scared. I got mad a couple times. Um but I was just a frustrated parent at the moment. It wasn't necessarily at them. It was just the whole day was in shambles and then he wants to pee his, you know, pee his undies to top it off. So it was more like that type of moment. Yeah. Babe, we did hella good. Being two women in a household, potty training two boys. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to subscribe. And to watch. And stay like, tuned. We got some dope ass families in this channel. I'm just saying. Peace. <laughs> if you only got no baby wipes or any type of moist towelettes in your potty, your coolie to your coolie fly is not clean. I could still smell the piss on my hands from when they used to pee all over me, yeah.